We take off today from the dualization of the Abuja Kefri Makrodi Road, which serves as a link between the nation's capital, the Nasarawa State Capital, and the Benue State Capital, Makrodi. The road, which was constructed several years ago, is in a state of disrepair following pressure and constant use. But as it is, is with several abandoned and disregarded projects all over the country. It is now slated for reconstruction and expansion. Minister of Power Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, who flagged off the reconstruction of the road, said it is a show of commitment on the part of the federal government to continue to develop the nation and encourage commerce by bringing Nigerians together. Minister of Power Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, has flagged off the Abuja Kefi Lafia Makodi Road expansion and realization project at kilometer 15 Kefi Akwanga Road, Nasarawa State. <laughs> The Abuja Kefi Lafia Makodi Road expansion and realization project is one of the many road construction and reconstruction projects that will enjoy adequate funding under the President Muhammad Buhari's administration, especially in partnership with the Chinese government. It involves the expansion of about 5.4 kilometer length of the Abuja Kefi Expressway from the current six lanes to ten lanes to relieve the perennial gridlock experienced by commuters between Nyanya and Masaka Axis. The other part of the project involves the dualization of the 22-kilometer-long Kefi Akwanga Lafia Makodi Road from its current single carriageway. What is going to happen here from Abuja, Akwanga, Kefi and all the way to Makodi is jobs. Let me tell you some of the jobs. Mining, laterite, stone, granite, supply of sand, transporting them, cement, iron rod, labor, engineering work. The major aspect of the work is the scarification of the existing alphatic concrete on carriageway, bituminous surface on shoulders, and the compaction of the existing base. Reformation of the road shoulders, as well as reconstruction of the entire stretch. Minister of Power Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, assures Nigerians of more job opportunities through infrastructure in the present and next level, while the project is expected to serve as a major economic road in the north central parts of the country. Abuja, Akwanga, Kefi, and all the way. To Makodi is jobs. Let me tell you some of the jobs. Mining, laterite, stone, granite, supply of sand, transporting them, cement, iron rod, labor, engineering work. And that's why Engineer Moko Lu is here. And President Buhari has signed an executive order that any part of this work that can be done by Nigerians must not be done by foreigners. So if you are ready to work, go and get ready. There is one here for you. Vehicular traffic on the road has increased significantly since it was opened many years ago. Hence the need to construct and reconstruct the entire stretch of the Abuja Kefi Akwanga Lafia Makode Expressway. Particularly when we look at the project and the benefits uh, it gives to the people within the corridor of the federal capital and national state where there will be the expansion of the to a large road from six lanes to ten lanes that will go a long way in putting a lot of relief to commuters and people living within the vicinity. And we are part of the success of this project and success of the administration. I want to appreciate the effort of Mr. President and then the effort of the Honorable Minister who is a lawyer by turn back to be an engineer now and all the staff of the ministry from the farm set down to all the staff of the ministry for the effort they did make in this project in reality. Stakeholders appreciate the federal government saying this act will contribute to a large extent to the nation's economy. This is the road that covers most states. About 16 states come in and out of Abuja through this route. And I think it's a very, very uh, great development at this time that uh, the federal government would flag off this uh, road, expansion and dualization. As one of the users of the road, 
I'm very happy that today a new dawn has started. Uh, the dualization will certainly improve the quality of, uh, uh, of travel in this part of uh, the country. We are very, very pleased with the president for what he has done. And uh, may he continue to rule this country and uh, may he continue to provide uh, infrastructure. The project, which has been approved by the Federal Executive Council and awarded to China Harbor Engineering Company Limited at the cost of 542.1 million US dollars, has a completion period of 36 months. Messrs. Yarrison Partnership Limited and Ete Aro and Partners Limited have also been appointed as supervisors of the project. This is in addition to the team of engineers and experts from RSDT and Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing, who will closely monitor the implementation of the project.